Sharifa, this morning I uh, saw one of your statuses. I was reading one of your statuses that said that um, can you just have one night of proper sleep? And I thought yesterday, so I'm not the only person that's feeling that way. So, uh, but I brought you something today. Um, this is most of my people who know me know that Ekasmos Payerechana. Whatever this is, they know what this is. So I'm going to give it to Sharifa for some more energy. Okay, yeah, go. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you. I shall use this and give you feedback. <laughs> However, um, I think what's needed for my type of tiredness is more hours in the day. Um, sometimes we just do not have enough. Is it? Thank you. You will see later in our conversation, we will speak about that. I've actually, I was wondering because um, I've been not studying you, but I've been watching your Instagram post and WhatsApp post and all your statuses and stuff. And I'm like, you see this rechte vrouw jong. How does she get all those things done? <coughs> because I don't even have all those, uh, um, the stuff that you, you're doing. I mean, you're, some, you're some mom, you're a mom, you're a wife. And I'm not to be a So all those stuff. I was wondering how you're getting it done. But let's uh, speak about your business and stuff. As I told you, I want to be, um, I want to speak, delve more into your businesses and stuff. I hear, I know Sharifa Ferris. Um, okay, come ek dwaal af. The first time I heard about you was 2019, I think. Wow. 2020, 2020 actually. I was still in Bloemfontein and somebody showed me a picture Actually, your, uh, your, your daughter was busy with TikToks. I think it was um, lockdown at that time. So my family came through, uh, I think it was, it was for Christmas break and stuff, uh, Christmas dinner. So um, Rosalind showed me your daughter, but I wanted a blonde hairstyle. And she showed me this lady with a top class blonde hairstyle. The blonde hairstyle, you top class like, and you hot like, oh, be beach, it must be beach. <laughs> So that's when I saw you for the first time. And then the second time when I actually came to, and the whole time I was following you because of your blonde hair. Because of your blonde hair. And I didn't know anything about Sharifa. I didn't hear anything about Sharifa. In I can see this sexy fro, a sama. And she's got this fabulous daughter. And she's sexy and she's just doing the things. And th that's why I started following you on IG and stuff. Um, so when, then I came back to Kimberley. And okay. Uh, I moved back to Kimberley, and then I hear again about Sharifa Ferris. Oh, I saw you. I saw the, I saw the blonde hair. Yes. yes. <laughs> I saw this blonde hair lady, and, and she's sexy, and she's not gefaar, look, man. And um, I wanted to meet you, and I, I kept on saying, I want to meet this lady. And then we had one meeting. I don't know, do you still remember the meeting? Um, and from there, um, I... I, I, I to begin to feel to follow from behind the scenes where I actually started to I don't know the real Sharifa but started to get snippets of who you really are you understand so let's speak about your businesses I know yes Biasak Dama you are so busy and a lot of people know um, the your lucid is lucid lucid lounge lucid lounge a lot of young people know lucid lounge <laughs> but there's other stuff that you're also doing Kijk eens hoe gauw, je moet met die mensen zien in de workshop. Want ze zijn voor die spelen. You know, there's a lot of things that you're still doing. So tell us what's the stuff that you're still busy with. Um, what type of businesses do you do? And yeah, and can we get the businesses' names and stuff? We know Sharifa, we don't know the company's names. Yeah. Okay, so um, the business that I, or businesses that I'm currently running, it's all under one name. So it's R and S Ambition Trading. Um, the Lucid Lounge obviously operates on its own. Okay. Um, currently, I have so many things going on. So, to be honest, at the moment, my business is a bit, I wouldn't say stagnant, but mm. it's on the back burner because, um, unfortunately, my love for the community has always yeah. taken over everything I do. Yeah. Um, I'm not full force um, in the business right now. Um, I do have people that assist me with that. Okay. So, um, I do consultation for mining companies. Um, when it comes to compliance, as well as communication between them and the departments. Okay. Um, I do applications for mining rights, prospecting, prospecting rights and so on. Um, I also do maintenance on buildings and construction as well. Oh wow. Yes, I do have a charity organization as well that does community work outside of my 
political work okay um that that works you know in within the communities yeah um i have a few um things coming up that yeah. i'd like to keep under wraps for now first <laughs> <laughs> okay but but in a nutshell that's that's the most of it um okay. i do do um you know whenever there's a a deal when it comes to transport as well okay as a businesswoman if it makes sense i'm going to go for it okay. you know whether it's okay. temporary or permanent awesome so so that's awesome yesterday he done a is easter for dama i mean listen to what Yes, you see the multi streams of income, something like that. Nah? Yes, yes. Okay, but I want to go into deep, deep, deep into. Before you started the businesses and before the businesses started, <coughs> what did you actually do? I think it's a bit of a thing. But before that, before the, uh, the business, the uh, limo art business, uh, there was a Sharon that was actually working for somebody. Did you. Is it not a business that sprung off? Um, okay, if I could. Um, if you'd allow me to go back slightly yeah, more yeah. but way back before you know I actually started the businesses yes um you spoke about my daughter so initially um I am a sister a statistic I'm a statistic as I'm sitting here okay. I fell pregnant with my daughter while I was in my last year of school okay so at that point in time you know everything just seems to be stagnant okay. we are not going anywhere however when you have drive and you know you have a plan yeah nothing can stop you so yeah Um I started working at ShopRite as a till packer. Okay. Initially. Okay. Um I worked at Checkers as well so I worked two jobs at once. Weekends at the one place and then uh, um during the week at the other place. Oh wow. Mm. And at some point I started I got a new job at the Department of Justice. Oh. Mm. Which was government job. Okay. Um I, I, you know, at that moment, I felt I'm set, man. Uh, it's a uh, government, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I made it. Uh. And I realized that I was, at a, I was, I wasn't growing. I was in an admin position, and that is probably where I was going to stop unless I did something about it. Okay. And long story short, a businessman approached me from nowhere. Um, we met through a mutual friend, and he offered me a job. You know, come and work for me. I'm starting a mining company, and I'm like. How could I do this? Like, I mean, I I'm I'm in government. Yeah. I have stability. Yeah. If I start this job with this guy, it's like literally shaking my ground, yeah. and I do not like instability. Yeah. I don't like change. Yeah. Um, but I decided after a year of him asking me to join, I I started um at the company, and yes, um I'm still with him. We are still working together in the mining industry. Oh wow. Eighteen years later, and to be honest, I have a lot to be grateful for from him he mm-hmm. he mentored me into the person that I am he guided me and we started the mining company at that stage and that is when we did f- the first few um applications for mining rights and prospecting rights oh wow four of which are fully fledged operational mines in the northern cape True. employing more than 200 people per mine yo so that is where it started and yes i did um start somewhere where i had to learn you know how to do what yeah. i do now I go from what you said there's something that you said uh with regards so I never knew about the shop right and the checkers thing we go I can go down when I was young um I always said I wanted an office job my to me was not going to see this and go be pick and pay and be yes. game and I always said I go be game there <laughs> so I understand the shop right and this uh, this uh, uh, where you feel that life has stopped and die moet net enige ding wat verduid het. Um maar kyk waar ons nou. Kyk ons speel nie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, there was one thing that you spo- spoke about. You spoke about uh you were an administrator or in an at the in and the you admin were an position. admin yes. position. So, kyk hier ek is mense admin mens want ek is liever admin. Um so what did you do if if I now say admin what what's the first thing that comes to you? Okay not I wouldn't um when I say admin I mean you know your your level 1 entry job um we used to I used to work for the Department of Justice Finance Division okay. so I was an accounting clerk okay so we used to do um I used to work in the cash office okay we used to do the the bail applica- you know the the reconciliation of the accounts okay, so yeah. I used to work with the CFO okay okay of, and it it was not my thing you didn't like it no I need <laughs> adrenaline I need something to keep me going <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, I, I it I, everything is a learning curve. So I like learning. So okay. at first it was good because I was um you know I was learning. 
something. Yeah. And the f the way I also got the job was so significant that I I knew I had to make something of myself. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a story on its own. The way I got yeah, that job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My girlfriend, that you say you didn't actually like. Okay, although it was uh, stability for you, um, it, at that point it made sense to work at the, at, for the Department of Justice mm -hmm. and as an admin accounting in the finance at uh, uh, accounting clock. But a girlfriend that you now do. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a nice name, uh, accounting clock. <laughs> Ma, I, you know, when I started Limo Art, Limo Art is all about administration. Yes. And the reason why I asked you when you hear admin, admin sounds so level one. Yes. Yes. Like the the level next to Usi means uh, um, <coughs> it is the start general up. start up yes girl, yes. but um, that is a actually my 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 business actually owns 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 boost means on an yes. admin tehan because we believe that businesses need great administrators and we also encourage people not to think that they're lower than the foundation yes. you understand although people make us think that you are level one yes. at that point yes nah. and i also sorry and i also understand it's not for everybody administration yes. but anyway um there's something that i also want to ask you what makes you feel inspired to still stay in this current business uh, or all these businesses that you currently own. I know the one is um, on yes, but now what Mark, what drive you man go? Um, I you know my personality doesn't allow me to to become bored or complacent. Mm. Right? And one thing that that always drives me is the ability to go against the grain. You know, yeah. to to do something that was proven not possible. Sure. So. In the mining industry, even today, females are still oppressed. We yeah. do not have a platform yet where I can say that, no, now we have been uplifted. You understand? Yeah. Um, it is still male dominated. Our salaries are still not the same as, as the male counterpart would be. Yeah. And even in the construction industry, you know, when you, when you get onto a construction site and you go for a site visit, you get, you get frowned upon. It's like, Especially somebody like me that wears heels and has nails. Yeah, yeah. You get there and they're like, okay, so Why do you what is she doing here? Yeah. Yet they don't know that I can change into my, my boots and my hard hat at the same time. Yeah. You know? So it's the fact that the challenge for me is to stay in the business, is to prove to others that this is possible. Yo, I like it. I love it. And also watching you, yo, I'm watching you, girl. I'm watching you. And I can buy a fan of Lear, you know, um, this journey it's not it's it's not easy i mean life itself is something else we can write a book about life i think we're going to begin a book yeah yeah i am actually in the process of that oh wow yes. <laughs> so so you know learn eh? soon we will be uh, buying sharifa ferris's uh, uh, book and stuff so there's one question that i would like to ask you if you could have a billboard with any anything on it what would it be and why wow are we speaking quotes or anything anything your gesag your daughter your no. kinders no. what i'd never have my face on if i had the choice of having something on a billboard it would never be my face yeah um and i have reason for that um i would have something that inspires you know i i'm i i always tell my kids you know if i leave something behind let it not be money mm. let it be inspiration let me wow. leave something behind that you can carry without it having any monetary value it should be priceless yeah. so if i ever had to have anything on a billboard it would be something that speaks to somebody that changes something in somebody whether it's the smallest thing yeah. so it could be a quote it could be a picture it could be just something that means something to me yeah but it would never be myself because i i don't believe in praising the person but rather what they do you know, there's something that I told them earlier. I, I, I said, I want to start like this. Hi, Sharifa. Oh, can you close this? It's today long, so no, no. But one thing I said, I want to do it because I want, I want the audience to see that he's actually so a humble person. Like, I want to hear you must track, track, you know, yes, yes. because people think you're that person. You want the line. I, I assume so. I'm not sure, but um, I actually wanted to do that. Not only to see you track, you track. No, you are actually. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, uh, you are actually. You are correct. Um, you know, people have a lot of people that don't know me. They have. 
Ik denk dat mijn gezicht, man. Ik, ik, <laughs> mijn gezicht. I have this serious face, yeah. you know? Like a game on yeah, face. Yeah. And then when they actually get to know me, they actually realize that that is that's not me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I guess that's just my persona when I am in public. Yeah. Me being serious. Yeah. But ik heb die mooiste smile ook. Zo kan je heel dat smile. Je kan niet dat van jezelf zien. Let us give you the, the credit. Let, let us tell. You understand? From I'm outside. taking it. Okay, so there's something that you said earlier about the billboard. I'm still there. Mm. You said that you're going to leave a, a quote or something. You spoke to your children about it and stuff. But can I tell you, soos Mandela is so dood en yes. alles uit, but zeg gezicht as zeg gezicht opkom nee. I'm just saying from my side again. <laughs> okay. Even if somebody just put your picture there, we because of your face again. The message would be yes. You know what? Strength, strong, without even yes, some people will have other uh, their own comments or whatever. Opinion but what is. I as a woman see, it's strength, strong. It doesn't it strength, man. You know, you don't have to smile. You don't <laughs> I, I have feel to you. smile. I feel you. But we will see. And and not not everybody knows your struggle. So vandaag en is daar zeker meeste van die mensen wat vandaag is te hoor. A lot of people will hear for the first time that you worked for Shoprite and they will be shocked. They they all think was you know net by the main begin, see you. Or you just started where you currently yes. are. But they don't know your whole journey, you understand? But okay. So there's another question that I would like to ask you. Ik is bijna skierig vandaag. But anyway, <laughs> um this question is um if you could turn back the time and talk to your younger self. Uh, we were maybe 18 years old. Uh, what would you tell yourself? This would probably come as a shock to you as well. But I would tell myself to believe in myself more. Sure. To have more self-confidence in my abilities. Sure. I used to be extremely insecure at, at, at one point. I was, you know, um, falling pregnant at that age. I... It, I took a knock, man, like my self-esteem took a knock. And in the society that we lived in at that stage, it was frowned upon mm. to fall pregnant at that age. And to make matters worse, I was my mother's star. She was, she was, she was looking to me, you know, to make it in this world. Yeah. And as you said previously, um, a lot of people would have this perception of me that I just made it. If I really had to, you know, get into how I grew up, I think we would you people would not believe it so um i would honestly just get to the point of actually believing myself believing in myself and realizing the strength that i actually had within me at that point in time sure. when it took it took a lot of you know uh, challenges and trials for me to get to where i am but knowing what i know now it would have saved me from so much pain so much hard learned lessons if I had believed in myself from the word go. Oh wow, that is so profound. And um, this is so profound because that's stuff that a lot of people, I'm talking about myself when I say a lot of people, that it's stuff that we go through on a daily, where you doubt yourself. Um, I'm talking about myself now. You doubt yourself, you have to uh, motivate and say, yes. listen, you can do this. Um, like just sitting in front of a <laughs> camera, I never thought there's a, listen, if a lot of people know me, if you, if you knew me a year back, mm. there was no way that I would sit in front of a camera. Yes. But you see, so from such ek in ye, kijk vandaag hoe zag myself shame. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you are the sh. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so uh, um, today I can also inspire, and you, we can inspire people. Yes. And 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 I like what you said. It was. It's not about us. And therefore, you you moving forward every time a next step yes. because it's never about you. Yes. Because whenever you go a next step, you want to take somebody with, with you. Yes. You understand. You want to inspire. You want to just. Young men, so okay, you want go. <laughs> people that you people won't understand, they always speak, but I always see people around you, and and I'm like, okay, and I'm like, this lady, um, she's a powerhouse with, and I know you know it because your face tells your, your face said it for once, and as you said, but if, every day is a, not, it's, a, it's a new challenge yes. a new thing that come uh, where you have to to encourage yourself <coughs> to say i can do extra yes. better than yesterday okay so we quickly we quickly gonna go to an ad break um it's a five seconds ad break let sharifa net a bit rustig raak en a bit water kies drink so we'll be back
So welcome back. Hey, so we're still just sitting here with Sharifa Ferris, um, and we're having an awesome chat. Um, as I said earlier, that she's when I, I spoke to the crew that she's one of the people that I can't wait to just chat with because um, of all the stuff that I see about her. And she's when when we started earlier, we spoke about time. And over like a when you hear the word time, what is the first thing that crosses your mind? Something I don't have. <laughs> I don't have much time. <laughs> it's a commodity that is really expensive. Oh my goodness, I can just imagine. Um, with regards to what we also do um, in real life, not just sitting here, in real life, um, we do like time management. And with myself, I'm like, I teach people time management, but yesterday, uh, when I look at my own life, um, take this yeah, man, yeah. and, 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 and so I really truly understand what you mean. And you you still want to do a lot more. Like what you're doing is yesterday, you will not more and more do. So, um, Sharifa Ferris, Mrs. Sharifa Obray Ferris, what advice can you give to young entrepreneurs with regards to time management? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you are absolutely correct. Time management is crucial. I mean, it's imagine you have a meeting with possible investors and you pitch up late. You can only imagine the impression that you would be creating for yourself. So it's, it's really difficult, especially when you're starting out, that you focus a lot on time management because you are now creating a profile for yourself. Yeah. And you being able to do certain things at certain times, managing your time correctly so that you do fit in your daily tasks in one day yeah. is extremely important. Yeah. First of all, it, it creates growth for you. It means you have completed a certain amount of tasks for the day. Yeah. So now you can move forward. Yeah. If, you do, if your, your time is not managed properly, you, first of all, you are delaying your process. Yeah. You are creating a bad impression. Yeah. So it's extremely important. However, it's very difficult. Therefore, we have people like you. <laughs> this is us. Yes, I want to ask you something. So with regards to my, uh, if I have to speak about myself, it's not about me today, but I'm just making an example because I think I'm the only person here. So, <laughs> But um, with regards to myself, like, do you have assistance with regards to people uh, uh, collecting your children? Uh, do you have a chef at home or do you cook yourself? Because that's some stuff that I want. <laughs> so that we can eat healthy food and stuff. Yeah. Because I don't I'm not a person, I'm not a fan of the kitchen at all. But I want to eat pretty food. I yes. want to eat nice yes. food, healthy food. So um all those stuff. Do you have help assistance with regards to all of these functions? Like do you have a PA? Who does your phone calls? Do you have somebody that does your hey? Uh, oh, do you do all those stuff alone? Do you juggle all the balls? <laughs> I do all those things alone. Um, yes, okay, I do, have, I do have help. Yeah. Obviously, my husband um, is my help. Yeah. And my friends, I honestly have the best friends in the world. Yeah. If I cannot make it to something and I'm at a meeting or I'm somewhere, my friends pick up my kids and they drop them off. However, when it comes to my house... I am in control of my house. I, um, even though I'm an independent female, I'm very old school as well. Oh. So I believe in the, the, the wife should, you know, she should take care of no. the kids to mm. a certain extent. Yes, with the help, of course, of the mm. husband. But it is my duty to nurture them. It's my yeah. duty to feed them. So, yes, I still go home and I cook. Oh my goodness. And I love cooking. So, oh, the <laughs> yes, I'm the chef that does not give away. I, I do not allow anybody else to cook unless I really can't cook. Yeah. Because I would prefer having my own food. Okay, okay. I'm a f yeah, I'm a food critic. Ooh, I can <laughs> buy a phone on this because... <laughs> okay, so, yesterday. Um, when it comes to the, the political side of the things that I do, yes, I do have help because I do need help. Yeah. Um, and as you said earlier, especially when it comes to admin, um, the lady that does the admin and the secretarial duties, every now and then she works. So she works a full-time job and then she's like, but I can't serve you the way I want to. And, and um, she's very passionate about what we do and me. So she wants to be there all the time because of the type of person that I am. Yeah. So um, she says to me, but I think you should get somebody else with it. And I said to her, no, I want you because you are the person that keeps this boat afloat, even yeah. if you don't know that. Because if the admin and the 
minutes and the things that I need to do are not in place, yeah. I will be all over the place. So yes, I do have help with certain things, but not all. Okay, so you don't have a, a, a signed PA or a signed... Nope. I do is everything it? myself. Just to for a word. Where is the get iemand for alles? Iemand for my kinders to read. Mm. Kijk, ik heb een husband. Yes. So ik moet nou iemand krijgen met kinders te gaan. Met niet kinders, met kind te gaan al. En yesterday, ik zoek net een chef. <laughs> That's al net een chef. Een <laughs> chef. <laughs> yeah. So Sharif, it was so nice. It was so awesome speaking to you. Actually, getting to know you from a, another side. I mean, there's an, I know there's a total different side of you, yes. we, of which we will speak about one day, okay. maybe soon, and uh, um, yesterday, and that side, I, I can't wait to speak about it, the political side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the controversial side. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to speak about that side, oh my word, um, because I believe that is also one of uh, the biggest, one of your biggest goals. Um, and, and one of your biggest achievements, I believe so, I don't know, one of them, eh? one of them, um, because um, you're, 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 I wanted to reply or I wanted to say something on your status now the other day, you just did this and I said just like for you so I can't wait to speak to you about that side of you, um, but I believe you'll come back, I believe you have more time, yes. um, but look, we have to go Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so thank you so much, dear. And we appreciate you. Thank you for also inspiring us without even saying anything to us directly. But we do, we, dis, we do see you, we do watch you, and we do see what you do, and we do appreciate you. So thank you so much. Eh? And you always look beautiful. <laughs> thank it's you. Out of the <laughs> so thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. It, was a, it was a pleasure being here, Sharon. Um, if I could comment on on the the upcoming interview, um, you know, it's 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 not a it, it was never a dream of mine, never it was never a dream of mine, and um, I believe that when you speak something, what the tongue carries strength. So uh, two years ago, I made a joke about the road that I'm on now, mm. and the role that I'm in now, I made a joke to my friends and I said I'll come when when I when when I fulfill that role, yeah. and I'm currently in the role without knowing that. Um, and I said, if this platform, if I could use this platform to reach people, regardless what platform it is, if I could put smiles on faces, then that's the platform that I'm going to use. So I really want to thank you guys for having me. Um, it was a pleasure and I'll be happy to be back. Thank you so much and we appreciate you. Thank you.